the Mr. Chef. Uh, we are home private dining outfit in Singapore. As you can see, during the coronavirus, we can't really do private dining now. So, um, we spend most of the time sort of doing recipe testings and today I thought I'd take you along for the journey. Um, yeah, I don't know what this series is going to be called. Kind of tries, kind of fails, kind of experiments. Uh, let me know let me know in the comments or what you think this series should be called uh, I thought I'd sort of take you on a journey where we sort of do recipe testing what goes on behind the scenes of each new dish that we do um, yeah and today we're gonna be doing Queen Naman uh, Queen Naman is possibly the hardest pastry out there in the world uh, it's a laminated dough hundreds of layers takes a lot of time to do and, uh, and today we're going to try it uh, with all this time that the coronavirus has given me. Um, yeah, I first had Queen Amman in New York uh, in Dominic Ansel's uh, bakery. Uh, because the Cronut queue was so bloody long, I decided to screw Cronut and went to order a Dominic Ansel Queen Amman. And it blew my mind. It was crispy, it was caramel, there was butter. It's just so good. Uh, since then, I've been trying to find the time to sort of make it. Uh, I never had the guts to do it because it seems so daunting. It's like a two-day process just to make one little queen a month. Uh, but yeah, but we're gonna try it today. And yeah, so there are three main recipes online uh, for queen a month. Uh, one by Bruno about Bruno Abruzzi, uh, which is a legend in all French cooking on YouTube. Uh, Chef Steps. And recently, Dominic and Sal also shared his recipe as well. So in most of most of our recipe testing, I don't really follow exactly one guy's recipe. Uh, we sort of break it down, and I'll see what makes sense to me, and we sort of come up with a hybrid recipe to attempt it. And in this case, no different as well. We're gonna I'm from the recipe. I think that Bruno Bruno's recipe seems to be the most uh, makes most sense. But in terms of dining, sort of following Dominic and Sal's dining as well. Alright, uh, yeah, let's go. So, most of the recipes call for pastry flour. So, pastry flour is, uh, has a gluten level in between, um, in, between, uh, in between bread flour and all purpose flour. Um, I don't have pastry flour, I don't intend to keep stock of pastry flour, so we're gonna blend them both. So, 50% of bread flour, 50% of all purpose flour. And um, the recipe seems to call for 50% hydration. 50% um, hydration brioche dough and to start Okay, so the recipe calls for 14 grams of yeast um, I'm not going to use 14 grams uh, because the packet has only 11 grams and yeast is the least important thing and there you go So butter is fat and fat shorten the gluten strands. Um, I'm not too sure why is it using so much butter when most of the other recipes from um, does not cause for so much butter in the initial dough. I think because it's using bread flour so it's using more fat sort of make it a more crispy, uh, more tender kind of pastry. You see? supple enough I think I don't know um, yeah I think we'll stop here okay okay we'll let it proof for an hour okay part of the thing that you need to make for its uh, butter block I kind of cheated and just went to buy this from Good uh, but apparently it's damn fancy, damn fancy butter so 82% fat compared to 70% of normal normal butter so yeah okay
here. All right. Moving for an hour now. Uh, let's see what we have. So here I'm just going to extend the dough such as twice the size of the butter block so that it can sort of envelop the whole butter inside the dough. And here I realized my first mistake, uh, while I left the butter out to sort of room temperature for like 10 minutes, it was still way too hard, uh, it wasn't the same texture as the dough, I just left it on the counter to sort of uh, let, it, let the butter thaw just a little bit more. The problem here is that the butter still wasn't soft enough. It, because it wasn't soft enough, it wasn't spreading across the entire dough. It was just clumping in the center. I think that what that is what led to a very bad lamination. Uh, but I have no choice to sort of persevere on at this stage. So here I'm just gonna make the dough wide enough so that I can make a first turn. The turn is sort of just folding the doughs into uh, like a book in each turn you create layers and we're gonna do a total of four turns uh, each time in each turn You gotta put it in the fridge to let it cool down again Hey, let's see You can see that the butter is all concentrated in the center. It's not in the edges that is why I screw up, but I think I'm gonna compensate with more turns. Instead of uh, instead of four turns, I'm gonna try five turns to see whether the butter is evenly spread out or not. Fingers crossed. Turn three. Turn three. No, turn four. Hi, this is uh, day day two. We left the dough overnight. We just uh, buttered and mold our uh, our tin, and now it's the final roll. Uh, come, sprinkle some sugar, and we try. Whoa, oh, that's a nice dough. <laughs> I need a new rolling pin. 
So I was supposed to put the sugar in turn 3 and turn 4 which I totally forgot because I was so focused on making the laminated dough. I also wanted to do a 5th turn but at this point the butter was just coming out of the dough and I did not dare to push it any further so I decided to just cut it and let's just bake it and see what, what happens. You can see the layers. Okay, somewhat resemblance. Yes, you will test it in a bit. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me on this journey. We have our Korea one, Mark one. And yes, we'll taste this. Get this shot here. Mm -hmm. Are you at this shot? Yes! So far, man? Yes! Okay, come closer to my mouth. Man. Okay, come in here. Here, the sound. Oh, okay. Whoa. Okay. Shall I choose? Okay, let's choose, uh, let's choose the ugly ones. Okay. Taste test number one. Can you come closer here? Okay, this is number one. It has a crispiness. But clearly not enough sugar. You see the layers. Somewhat of a layers there. But, not enough sugar. Mm. The butteriness really can't does come through. A little bit upset about sugar. But yeah, I would say it's not bad. For the first attempt. Oh. Happy birthday to you. Queen Aman Mark 1. Crispy? Not enough sugar, you are right. Enough butter? Not definitely more than enough butter. Okay, hey, this is our batch number two. Play with some new fancy shapes. And uh, the last batch, they had a bit too burnt. The caramel was a bit uh, too much bitter flavor. I'll reduce the bake time a little bit and see how it goes. And uh, I actually added more sugar this time around. Hopefully, they come. Nicer, you'll see. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments uh, what else you want to see from my channel as well. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, you can click here to subscribe, or you can click here to watch more stuff from my channel. Bye, happy cooking.